evening, my students. You are welcome to Regional Precious Online Class. I am your basic science teacher, Mrs. Okafor Odejuku. On basic science today, we will treat the topic thermal energy. By the end of the class, you are to know the definition of thermal energy, transfer of heat, and application of air heat. And what is thermal energy? Thermal energy is a form of energy which tends to move from hotter place to cooler place. It can also be regarded as a heat energy, meaning that you can also call it a heat energy. Then let's see the transfer of air heat, how heat transfers from one form to another. So heat can be transferred by, the, by three processes. And what are the three processes? Conduction, convection, and then radiation. What is conduction? Conduction is the process, is the transfer of heat from one point of a body or substance to another point in the same body. What do I mean by this? For example, when you get your pot, immediately you put your pot on fire, your pot was cold, but immediately you put it on fire, it will be hot because the heat has transferred from the stove or from the cooking whatever to the pot. That is it. The heat has transferred from the, the, the the, the stove today, pause. And what are the applications of uh, conduction? We have metals are used as cooking utensils, meaning that you cannot use non-metals to cook. You cannot use rubber to cook. You only use what? Metal, because they are good uh, conductors. They can transfer heat from one form to another on the same body. Then another one is the heat transfer by conduction. Helps in air uh, cooking. That is why you put your food in a pot, the heat will transfer from the stove to the pot, then what to what you are cooking in the pot, and that is what applications of a conduction. Then we go to convection. Convection is the process by which heat energy is transferred in a liquid or gas by the upward movement of molecules of the heated air liquid. For example, when you put your your water on the when you put your water on the pot, you will notice that the water will start boiling from the from down to up. It will not just start before it will get to every part of the of the container. It will start boiling from down to up. That is what convection. It will move from. It will transfer. It, it is only applicable in a liquid. It starts from the. It, it starts from down to up. And what are the applications of a convection? Radiator cooling system in a Auto, automobile, the moving of smoke up the chimney. Then we go to radiation. What is radiation? Radiation is the process by which heat is transferred from one place to another without the aid of a medium. What is an aid? For example, there's no obstacle, nothing is helping. The, the heat transfer is just moving, just like the heat that is coming down to us does not have any aid that makes it to come down to us. That is what heat air transfer by radiation. Then application of radiation. Heat from the sun enable our clothes to dry. When you put your clothes under the sun, the heat from the sun will come directly from the sky to your clothes and your clothes will dry. There is no medium for it to happen. Then heat from the sun serves as source of air, solar energy. So solar energy is also a form of air energy. So it can, it can work from the heat from the sun. It will just go direct, directly to the solar and we have a solar energy. Thank you for listening to today's class. I believe that you, you learned something from it. And I believe that today's lesson is, is interesting. And uh, I have a little assignment for you. A few assignments for you. I have these few assignments for you to test your knowledge of what you just uh, learned. Number one, define thermal energy. Number two, list the applications of the three processes of uh, heat energy. Thank you.